This is Mission Control Houston. As uh, spacewalk preparations have been uh, ongoing over the past hour or so, uh, Russian uh, flight controllers and the flight controllers here at Mission Control in Houston have been noticing uh, a stream of particles coming out of the uh, Soyuz MS-22 vehicle that is attached to the Rosviet module on the Earth-facing side of the Russian segment of the International Space Station. We do not know what the source of this uh, stream of particles is at the point. At this point, uh, there is uh, discussions that are ongoing. Uh, first, uh, to make sure that the safety of the two spacewalkers is not compromised in any way, and then uh, to determine uh, what impact, if any, this might have on the integrity of that Soyuz vehicle. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, you're continuing to uh, take a look at particles leaking from the uh, Soyuz MS-22 spacecraft docked to the Rosviet module of the International Space Station. This leak uh, was first observed about uh, two hours and 45 minutes ago, around 6.45 p.m. Central Time, at the time at which Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Patelin were uh, preparing uh, to begin a spacewalk to uh, move uh, outside of the Poisk airlock of the station, a spacewalk designed uh, to move a radiator from the Rosviet module to the Naoka Multipurpose Laboratory module. This leak or stream of particles from the area of the instrumentation and propulsion module was associated with uh, a uh, drop in pressure in the cooling loop of the Soyuz MS-22. It is not known uh, what the source of the leak is. Russian specialists are in the process of evaluating uh, data, taking a careful look at uh, video that is being sent to them from here in Mission Control while we stand by and uh, wait for further word. In the meantime, Prokopiev and Patelin safely back inside the International Space Station. They were never in any danger in the airlock, in the Poisk airlock mo uh, of the station. Preparing for their spacewalk, they're now out of their Orlon spacesuits, awaiting further word on uh, what the next course of action will be. This is the Soyuz vehicle that was launched back in September to carry Prokopiev, the Soyuz commander, and now Expedition 68 commander, Patelin and NASA's Frank Rubio to the station, launching from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. But at 6.45 p.m. Central Time this evening, it was uh, detected that a uh, fairly uh, significant leak of coolant was uh, coming from the aft end near the instrumentation and propulsion module of the Soyuz MS-22 spacecraft that you see on the right side of your screen, which is docked to the Rosviet module on the uh, Earth-facing side of the Russian segment of the International Space Station. The cause of that coolant leak unknown and the effect at this point unknown as Russian managers continue to uh, look over the data and uh, consult with uh, both NASA managers and engineers and International Space Station uh, partner uh, individuals about the next course of action. No decisions have been made regarding uh, the integrity of the Soyuz MS-22 or uh, what the next course of action will be. We're going to wrap up our coverage for this evening, but uh, we can assure you that we will keep you updated with information as it becomes available, as soon as it becomes available, and as warranted uh, throughout uh, the course of the night and into the morning tomorrow when uh, more information might be available.